What's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope modded outfits tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to actually do a merge glitch and get two dope merged outfits. We're going to be merging Tron shoes and race gloves. All right. So basically shout out to Shift T also for finding this glitch. I didn't shout him out in the old video, but you know, shout him out. We're going to be using the SP to MP glitch that recently just came out to make director mode outfits basically. Okay. Now, it's the same concept as before, it's just a different glitch on how to transfer outfits. But you obviously need another character. Uh, I recommend on your girl character, on your second one, go ahead and buy the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves. And that's kind of all you want to be prepared. Also an earpiece from, uh, from you know, ammunition. So I'd say buy those things, get ready to go. The basic concept that we're going to be doing is you need you need two open slots above the main outfit slot that we're going to be using okay we're going to be making two outfits a gray and orange outfit and a black and white outfit all right you're going to need the black joggers and the gray joggers so black joggers are right here uh you know the adversary mode glitch i actually do it later in the video so if you want to skip forward to that all you need to do is do the adversary mode glitch in vehicle vendetta and that's how you get those uh joggers okay so apart from that now once you have the black joggers, what you want to do is go to the tactical jackets and put on the black and white tactical sleeveless. We're preparing the outfits right now on the male character, all right? This is what we're doing right here, preparing the male character. So once you've put that on, you can go ahead and put on any shoes, really. I just always go ahead and go to sneakers, and I put on the white or black plain high tops. They seem to transfer fine. Uh, you know without messing anything up so go ahead and put that on and then once you have that you want to go ahead and save this as an outfit okay save this as an outfit in an area where you have two open slots above it so check it out so i'm saving it right here black joggers and then the next thing you want to do you need the deadline outfit the deadline white outfit okay now once you're at the deadline white outfit what you need to do is go ahead and take off the mask and the gloves okay so however way you want to do it, you just need to take off mask and gloves from that outfit. Okay, so as you can see right there, no gloves, no mask. Now we can save this. Now you want to save this right above where the black joggers were saved. Okay, this is why I said you need two open slots above the main outfit slot. So black joggers, then right above it is the white deadline outfit saved just like this. And then above that, we're going to be using that later. Okay, so for now, that's what we got. All right, black joggers above it, white deadline outfit. And then you want an empty space right above it or ready to go at least. Now, second outfit we're doing the gray and orange outfit. Okay, you need the gray joggers. I've shown how to do that. I'll put a, you know, a link in the uh, description and the pinned comment exactly how I did that glitch to get the gray joggers. Once you've gotten them, you want to put on the orange tactical mid length under tactical jackets. Just slap that baby on. Once you've gotten that on, you know go ahead and go to the shoes and you can just put on the black you know plain high top shoes like i said i use the black or the white it doesn't really matter those are going to change okay so once you're at that point you want to save the outfit okay save it as an outfit you know call it whatever you want i'm calling it gray orange but that's really the gray joggers main outfit then you want to go over to the deadline outfits and go to the deadline orange okay once you're at the deadline orange we're going to be doing the same thing as before you're going to take off the mask and you're going to be taking off the gloves all right so once we've taken off the mask and the gloves, as you see right here, just like the other one, you want to save it right above the main slot. So you got, you know, you got the main gray joggers outfit and then right above it, you got the orange deadline outfit right there. And then above that, we're going to need an empty space also. Okay. So that's how this is working guys. Okay. So you have the main joggers outfit above it. You have the deadline outfit. And then above that is an empty slot you're going to be using for later. Okay. That's basically the setup on the mail. All right, and remember, if you're doing it, like I did, it, I did the SP to MP glitch yesterday, and I showed you guys take off accessories. You want to take off all headgear, especially bulletproof helmets, masks, you know, glasses, all that stuff. Unless they're merged gloves, you want to take off all sorts of gloves or cuffs or anything like that. Take them off all your outfits, okay? Unless they were components that you transferred previously from the female, okay? So that's basically what you want to do and save the outfits. You want to clean all that up so everything transfers back and forth naturally, all right? And body armor as well. You don't want body armor on there. Duffel bags transfer back and forth. I've confirmed that. So we're good. As you can see right here, see I have those, those few outfits, like the jug outfit. I know those transfer back and forth. There's components. But your main merge outfits, you don't want any sort of headgear or anything like that, okay? 
So once you once you've done all that, you want to swap character. You want to get to your girl character. You know your second one. And then now you go and leave to GTA Online. You go to story mode and you go ahead and you do the glitch. Okay. So link in the description of how to do the SP to MP glitch. All right. So once you're back down, you've done the SP to MP glitch. You are your female character. You want to go ahead and go start up Crooked Cop. All right. So we're starting up Crooked Cop. Set it to player owned outfits. All right. So now we're on player owned outfits. We're starting up Crooked Cop. You need a friend to actually start this up. You're going to go ahead and go to the because uh, we've transferred all the male outfits now over to the female okay so we're gonna start using the gray joggers outfit so you're just gonna hover over the gray orange outfit which is the gray joggers one with the orange top okay so hover over that one all this does is lets us access the outfit so we can start using it and customizing it so now you want to just simply quit out through your phone have your friend quit out if he wants to it's all good uh, now, once you spawn back down, you want to start up Titan of a Job by yourself. All right, you don't need anybody for the Titan of a Job part. So start up Titan of a Job. You're gonna look all crazy, invisible, and stuff like this. It's because we're transferring joggers and like other stuff. So what you want to do now is go ahead and go over to Ammunition, go to the shoes, go to rubberized boots, and put on the Aqua Camo Trail boots. Okay. Once you've done that, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories and gloves. Go one to the left, light woodland tactical gloves, all right? You just put those on wherever they are, all right? So now we're going to save this right over where the gray joggers outfit was. Remember gray orange, that's what I saved it under. So once you've saved it under there, quit out of Titan of a Job. Once you're back, start up Crooked Cop again, all right? So you're going to need another friend to start to help you with this part, okay? So start up Crooked Cop, set it to player-owned outfits. Once you're set in there, go ahead, and we're going to be going over to the orange deadline outfit. The, the outfit slot saved right above the gray joggers outfit, okay? So we're at the orange deadline outfit now. We're, we're spawning into Crooked Cop. Same thing. All we got to do now is quit, okay? The only reason we do Crooked Cop is to access the outfit. We can't access it without Crooked Cop. Titan of a job right here. We're starting it up again. This lets us actually spawn in, in with the outfit in the job and lets us customize it without ruining any of the uh, components that we put on it from the mail, okay? So we're in Titan of a job now. All you want to do now is go ahead and go to gloves and put on the same ones, the light woodland tactical gloves. These are the merge components for gloves and shoes. So now remember, save it under the orange deadline outfit because that's what we're working on right here. OK, so this is all the work we needed to do for the for that outfit for the gray orange. So now quit out of Titan of a job and you need to start up Crooked Cop again. All right. Once again, you need a friend for this. Set it to player owned outfits. Get your friend in there. And uh, there's a lot of people doing this stuff, okay? So you can find somebody too. Just set auto invite and you'll find someone, trust me. Uh, now, all you gotta do now is go ahead and hover over the black joggers. We're working on the black and white outfit now. So go over to black joggers, whatever you saved it under, and then press ready to play. Once we spawned in, we're just gonna simply quit out through our phone, all right? Once you spawn back down, you're gonna start up Titan of a job again by yourself all right so now we're going into titan of a job once again you see we're all invisible and stuff like that that's because the joggers and stuff were over here on this outfit so now we're in ammunition again you want to go ahead and do the same thing we're going to be putting on the under rubberized boots the aqua camo trail boots okay that's the merge component for the shoes that's how we're going to get tron shoes on this then open up your interaction menu go to style accessories gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves and now you want to save this outfit right over the black joggers slot all right because these are the black joggers outfit right here that we transferred from the mail Okay, so save it under black joggers. I like to save it twice just in case. Go ahead and quit out through your phone. Now you want to go ahead and start up Crooked Cop again. Okay, so right here, as you can see, I'm going over the verses and Crooked Cop. So we're starting up Crooked Cop once again and get your friend back in here or auto invite, whatever you want. Now, once we're at this point, you know what to do. You got to set it to player owned outfits. So you go over to player owned outfits right there. And now we're going to go ahead and launch the job. So we're launching the job, we're in there. Go ahead and hover over the white deadline outfit, okay? That was the one right above the white jo the black joggers, okay? So the white deadline outfit. Hit ready to play. We're gonna spawn in just like this. Now, once you spawn in just like this, you wanna go ahead and quit out through your phone. Same thing, just like that. It's just to access the outfit. Now we're back by ourselves. Start up Titan of a Job, uh, you know, alone. Now we're spawning into Titan of a Job. Go ahead and run over to Ammunition. When you're running over to Ammunition, you are simply just going to go ahead and put on the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves. So open up, open up your Interaction Menu, go to Style, Accessories, go to Gloves, and then there we go. The Light Woodland Tactical Gloves. We have our Merge Component. 
you're just gonna simply save it now so go over to your you know your outfit slots save it over the white deadline outfit and that's pretty much all the prep that we need to do on the female so you can quit out tighten up a job at this point go ahead and press pause go to online and go to swap character and you want to swap to your male character now okay so we're gonna be swapping over to our male character once you're once you're the male character now you want to leave GTA online and then you're gonna do the SP to MP glitch now so that you can transfer all the female outfits back over to your male okay so now we're at that point all right, once again, link in the description and pin comment on how to do the glitch. All right, so now we're back. We're going to do the adversary mode glitch, all right, because we need the gray or we need the orange gloves. So go over to racing outfits in the, uh, you know, in your style menu and set it to none. If it was already on none, set it away from none and then go back to none. Okay, that's all the preparation you need. Now go over to adversary modes and start up tiny racers one or whichever one you want. All right, you're going to need a friend for this. Okay, so start up tiny racers. Make sure you're on the orange team. Okay, you want to be on the orange team. If you started up the race, you should be on the orange one anyways. So now, a little bit different here. Uh, same way to get glitched out. Now open up your interaction menu once the timer goes down and then go to style. Go over to the racing outfit right there and just select one to the right and it'll be grayed out. Xbox, you want to open up your dashboard and we're going to lag out in two minutes. PlayStation, start up YouTube or something and suspend uh, you know, the app. All right, either way, we're both going to get kicked out of there. So Xbox, we got kicked for, you know, idling for two minutes. Now, at that point, you should spawn back down with the whole outfit, but we need the gloves. So run over to any sort of, you know, clothing store, go to the accessory section, go to the gloves and just scroll up until you see the racing gloves. All right. So here we go. The race suit gloves, they're free. Go ahead and put them on. Now we have the orange gloves. What you want to do with this outfit now is save it. All right. So this, remember I told you we needed that one open slot on, on the top. You're going to save this over the deadline outfit. All right. This is for the orange outfit. So we have the gray joggers, the orange deadline right above it. And now the orange gloves right above that. That's why we needed all three outfit slots. Okay. So there we go. We've done that now. Go ahead and press pause, go to online, and we're going to be starting up Cricket Cop again. So go ahead and get your friend ready, set it to play your owned outfits like we always do. And once we've launched into the job, what you want to do now is actually go ahead and we're going to be okay. So now you want to go straight to where you saved this, these, you know, these gloves. All right. The race suit gloves, the orange ones go straight to over there. doesn't matter how you get there left or right. It's all good. I actually went backwards and went over the outfits backwards and it still works okay so check it out so here we go orange gloves i'm on it right there that's where i saved it go once to the right now now they're on the orange deadline outfit go once to the right again now the gloves and the tron shoes have merged onto the full outfit okay just like that all right so now go ahead and hit ready to play once you've hit ready to play then now you can go ahead and uh you know and start up the job sorry about my dog you know he's crazy just ignore him got a big german shepherd but yeah so there you go he actually has everything on there now so we got the orange gloves and the orange tron shoes on there so now don't just quit out yet what you need to do is go to style go to accessories and go put on an lcd earpiece you can put on a mask too if you want earpiece is easier for me though and now you can go ahead and quit out of your phone and everything will be saved so check it out so right there well it's not saved yet you got to go save it so i went ahead i took the earpiece off i saved up the ammunition and boom we have the gray and orange outfit done just like that all right well we haven't merged you can do whatever you want after that but it's all merged so now we need to finish up the black and white outfit so go ahead and once you're done saving the other outfit go to the you know race suits and put on the you know the black race suit all right with the black gloves on now save this outfit right above the white deadline outfit this is that other slot that we need open you know we're going to be merging you know two items at once basically that's what we're doing here so we got the black gloves go ahead and save it right above the white deadline and then right below that is the black joggers so you see we got black joggers on the bottom white deadline that's uh, above that and then we have the black gloves outfit right above that so that we can just move along through okay so once you've gotten all those outfits saved and ready to go start up crooked cops set it to player owned outfits get your friend in there or get a random doesn't matter now go ahead and all you have to do is go to the right we have black gloves so now we're hovering over the black gloves go one more to the right now the black gloves are on the white deadline outfit go one more to the right and now boom they are on the black joggers outfit and you get invisible arms with this one really really cool outfit you know i just wanted to show you guys how to merge and do all this stuff it's super simple it's just you know it takes time okay 
I know that it's not super simple, it can get confusing, but it takes time. That's all I can say, it just takes time. So now we have the white deadline shoes along with the black gloves on this outfit and invisible arms. Pretty dope. So just like before, what you want to go ahead and do is open up, well, before you open up your phone, get the interaction menu open, go to accessories, put on an LCD earpiece or a mask, either one will work. Now you can open up your phone and quit out. All right, so we're quitting out now. We're gonna spawn down right by ammunition. I recommend just going straight to ammunition. You can take off the earpiece and go ahead and save the outfit. And then boom, you have now two modded DM outfits. You know how to merge now. You've done it successfully just like that so at this point you can go ahead and put on you know a parachute bag on it a duffel bag uh you know masks i i recommend putting on the tron helmets and stuff just like in the uh just like you know in the thumbnail you're gonna see the tron helmets and everything i got parachute bags on them uh you can put flight hoses on them you can do a lot of cool stuff okay but that's gonna be it i don't want the tutorial to be super long you know or longer than it already is my name is roll easy i hope you enjoyed and learned this vi uh, you know learned from this video but uh yeah if you're brand new to the channel make sure to hit that red subscribe button uh, drop a like down on this video turn on post notifications if you're new for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content We are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. Peace out everybody